All right, you guys, that was one thing I forgot to mention, and I don't put my stand up, so I'm gonna get over here. I had made a haul video, and y'all, I, I accidentally deleted the video, so I'm gonna add this as a second part of the video that I just did. Um, I got some new makeup, and I really want to show y'all, okay? Um, so let me see. Make sure I got everything. Um, I did that. I just didn't show y'all the palettes. It was basically new eyeshadow palettes. And yeah. So I think that's it. I think I think that was all. I can't remember what I put in the video. <laughs> y'all, I know it was eyeshadow palettes. But I think that was all. Um, because I think y'all got to see all of that smart cover stuff that I had got. Um, so I didn't show y'all the new palettes that I got. It was Amazon. It was Amazon haul. Yes, it was Amazon. So let me get my Amazon stuff out. Um, it was my Amazon haul. Yes. So let me get this out. It's Amazon. So, I got it right here. So, my Amazon haul consisted of these two palettes. I'm trying to think. And some nails. I'm not going to show the nails. They just press on nails. But I showed the palettes. And also, I showed you another new product. And I have another one here. So I'm going to show you these few items. Uh, <clears throat> I got this W7 Nudification uh, Wear It and Bear It Pressed Pigment Palette. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, it's W7. Y'all know I love this brand. If you look on this channel, you see how many W7 uh, products I used to buy. I had like four, I think, palettes by W7, and I did swatches. It was a very popular video. I love the brand W7. Um, I feel like a lot of their palettes are dupe palettes. Um, some are a little bit better than others, but honestly, for the price, it's not bad. So this is the W7 Nudification Palette. Wear it and bear it palette. Once again, it looks like this. Okay, that's what it looks like. Very cute packaging. And this is like a dupe for a real, uh, what is it? Is it the Urban Decay? Is it Urban Decay palette? Like that nude palette? I can't remember. It's a dupe for one of the um, higher brand. I think it's a dupe. I don't know. I haven't tried the, the shades yet. But the the... The way the colors are placed in the palette, y'all know that this is similar to a high-branded um, eyeshadow palette. Um, it, it's like a neutral palette. I can't remember the name of it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So I got this palette because it reminded me of that palette, and I thought for the price, I'm going to give it a go. I like W7 brand. Once again, this is the W7 Nudification Palette. Another palette I got is this here. This is called The Best Land, as delicate as a fairy tale and as beautiful as a dream. I saw this palette on Amazon and I thought the packaging was very cute. Um, it's like a, a art. It's like art and I love art. I always have been a very big fan of art. Um, I love art in school. So I got this palette because what really stood out to me was the glitters and the pigments. This is what the palette looks like. Um, I would say that the palettes have a lot of lighter tones in it. It looks a little bit more of a lighter, like, cool tone palette than it did online. However, I like cool tones, but if you look, you see those pigments, the, the glitter, and all of that in there. So I will use this palette. It did come with a brush. So I thought the palette was interesting, and so I thought, why not? Let's try it out. So I haven't used it yet, but I will. So that's another palette 
that I got from Amazon.com, okay? And then I got this palette right here. Y'all know I have the, um, what is it? The Gorlane Terracotta uh, Bronzer in Blondes. This is like my natural bronzer. Like this bronzer is so pretty. I have it on today. Um, I just absolutely love it. It's just, it's the perfect bronzer. This, this is what I've been looking for all these years. Just a bronzer that will just bronze up my skin a little bit, but not look so real bold and hard. I don't like that look anymore, but when it was popular, I did like the look. As y'all know, I bought many bronzers, but now I have a very, very great uh, natural bronzer and it's this one uh, once again this is the Gorlane terracotta bronzer in blondes um, it's just a natural bronzer for me I absolutely love it so the next product is the Estee Lauder pure color envy sculpting blush this is in brazen bronze 110 i used this today very lightly like i said it was early in the morning i had to get ready i had to be done by the time the um the drivers got here so um i really didn't get to really like put it on as as neat as i like but it's called brazen bronze and it is a bronzy like to me it's like a bronzy peachy color um so if you like a bronze peach color you will like this here it's what it looks like and i do like it it does give me like this natural blush color i do have it on right now on top of the terracotta uh, bronzer by Guerlain. I put it on, then I added that on, and you see how natural my cheeks look. So I really like that, and I do want to buy the peach one. There's another one that's in peach. I really want to buy that one because I love this color, but you know, I'll eventually get to it. But right now, I'm gonna wear this one, Brazen uh bronze it is just absolutely so cute you guys i love the packaging like is this blue or is it yes blue and gold i love the packaging of course it's estee lauder so it's a little bit more expensive but i do like that uh blush i think it's amazing you can use this as a bronzer because it says sculpting brush blush so i feel like you some could use it as a bronzer but for me to me it's just gonna have to be used as a blush i feel okay the other new product that i got and this wasn't in the amazon haul this is just another product that i got at walmart this is the nyx uh the brow glue i love this stuff okay um it's been hard for me to get the anastasia beverly hills um brow gel you know the new one look like every time when i get ready to order it it's always sold out freeze brow that's what they call it and so i saw this one in walmart and i picked it up and y'all this is good too um i have my brows all fixed up right up in here and my brows look thicker and more defined and i absolutely love it and it's this nyx brow glue um i love it so you just what i do is i add the glue on first okay uh, but it recommends that you actually go in with your brow color or whatever or pencil and then go over it with the glue but for me i go in with the glue first and then i go ahead and go in with my feather brow pencil or feather brow product by physicians formula and then if i need to i'll use my pencil to kind of sculpt the bottom of my lashes or br or brows i mean just around the bottom just so i have that arch in a sculpture because y'all know how light my brows are so that kind of gives me a guideline on how to put on the feather brow on top of the glue but that's what i've been using is this brow glue by nyx and i absolutely love it i repurchase it over and over and over you guys another palette i think i mentioned in the amazon haul but this is not amazon um is the modern renaissance palette i love this palette 
Uh, I can't stop talking about it enough. This is a, a great autumn palette. I use this today. I use these two shades called um, Frisco and Antique Bronze. I use both of those just for the colors that I got on my eyelids right now. Um, it's just a wonderful um, autumn winter time palette and it's got neutral tones and autumn tones in there so i think it's perfect for this time of the year so i just love this i've been using this every day i haven't used none of my new palettes yet i've been using this one non-stop because i absolutely been wanting this palette by anastasia beverly hills for a long time and i am in love with this palette so you guys i'm gonna bring the camera up closer so y'all can take a look at my makeup let me get back a little bit it's always better when i go back like this is my look i went very natural today because i went to the doctor i wasn't going to get really fixed up even though i got these lashes on but i mean everything else is neutral there's the eyeshadows from the modern renaissance palette and then as you can see there's the bronzer the natural bronzer from the uh girl lane terracotta and blonde it's very natural and then you see this little peachy bronze shade that's the estee lauder sculpting blush and brazen bronze on my cheeks and on the tip of my nose so that's what i have on right now so y'all it's a very natural look but just know that i went to the doctor today so i didn't want to get real real fixed up and i think this is just pretty anyway i would do a fashion video with this makeup on look at how thick my brows look with the nyx brow glue like if you want thick brows and you have very thin sparse brows try those gels i still want to get the anastasia beverly hills freeze brows i still want that product but the nyx brow glue is i feel like the nyx best thing so look how thick my brows look y'all know my brows ain't never look this thick <laughs> Ever. look at my youtube videos i i mean i have drawn them on like this and they looked at the time i thought they looked amazing but nobody's doing like really the draw draw on brows um so this looks very natural and it's just looked like i've got the brow gel on and just a little bit of powder that's basically what i have on the feather brow powder and it just shows off my hairs that i naturally have that you can't see without the feather brow and the brow ge brow gel the brow glue and i like the look it looks very natural okay so yeah you guys so this is the look this is some of the makeup that i showed y'all so this is how it looks is it's not done really neatly because i had to hurry up and get dressed this morning but y'all get the idea so yeah you guys that is the video so look forward to the next three pair of jeans i'm going to show y'all if they get here today if not then i will show y'all when they get here which probably will be tomorrow i don't know i'm finished i'm finished to call fedex and see but anyways you guys thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video and i will see y'all in my next video and y'all please take care of yourself okay much love okay bye-bye